No other gods before me. That man had other gods before him. It was the one in the mirror. It was the one in the mirror. He couldn't shake that. It says about carved images and things like that. Idols. When I think about that, I think about Gilgan's Island or something silly or foolish. I'm like, you know, how can that really be a challenge? But the things of this world, the status, obviously, that was something that captured the rich young ruler. Taking the Lord's name in vain. We well, probably outwardly maybe didn't curse profanities, but you had no high esteem. As even he met the Lord himself and addressed him as good master, he couldn't understand that there were laws and you transgressed those laws. It doesn't matter if you're the rich young ruler. It doesn't matter what your status is, that you violated the word of God. But when he heard these things, talking about the rich young ruler, he heard what Jesus said to him in verse 23. But when he heard these things, what were these things? Sell all that you have, give it to the poor. But when he heard all these things, he became the rich young ruler. Very sad, for he was extremely rich. Jesus looking at him with sadness said, How difficult it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. For it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. Those who heard it said, Then who can be saved? That's a good question. Jesus said, What is impossible with men is possible with God. And Peter said, Hey, you know, he's pretty bold. We have left all our homes and followed you. And he said to him, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or wife or brothers or parents or, ch or children for the sake of the kingdom of God who will not receive many times more in this life and the age to come or eternal life. He's going, what about us? How is it that, you know, who can be saved? You've heard many times the eye of an eagle and, you know, that's just impossible. A camel go through the eye of an eagle. I've heard people getting long explanations. Well, the eye of an eagle was a gate somewhere in Jerusalem and the camels were packed and you can't go through the well. I don't care how you explain it. It's impossible. It can't be done. It's shown that, and in that illustration, it cannot happen because there's one thing we come against. It's the law of God. It's the righteousness of God. Now, some of y'all probably not seen some of the movies some of these younger guys have seen, but um, there's a guy named Jack Black. He's supposed to be one of the cool young guys that does a lot of the comedic movies. I've seen it on YouTube and other ones where he just flat out mocks the Word of God. The laws of God. I've heard people say, what do you mean the law of God? You're talking about what? You mean there's stuff in there about not eating um, shellfish? You know, they does say that in the Old Testament. Don't eat shellfish. Don't eat pork. So that means I go to Johnny's Barbecue or Red Lobster. I'm in great sin. Maybe I'm eating too much like I'm prone to yeah. do. But uh, is that sin? Well, we know there. There's ethical law, ceremonial law. But this is the moral law of God, the Ten Commandments. And it stands forever. As far as the other law, we know good and well. In the book of Acts, the Lord said to Peter, Seek and eat. And he declared all things edible that God had provided. But man, we just don't want to face, you're not a rich young ruler, we don't want to face the Ten Commandments. John 1.17 says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. That law was there. But we've got to be perfect. Technically, there are two ways you can get to heaven. One is don't sin. Don't sin. But the problem is what King David wrote in the Psalms. I was born in iniquity. I was born a sinner. For I even knew the question. For I knew the question of sin. I was in sin. Therefore, Romans 4.16 says, Therefore it is a faith that it might be be by grace to the end of the promises, might be sure to all the seed, not to that only which is of the law, but that also which is of the faith of Abraham, who is the father of us all. It might be by grace. Grace. God's unmerited favor. We said that many times in church. What is grace? God's unmerited favor. But that's poured out on us. Again, the question I've been asked so many times, I stated this morning, was, by people. Who are you to say that only Jesus Christ is the way to God, the way to salvation, the way to heaven? Who are you to say that? And then we look 
at ourselves and we'll look in that mirror. God didn't even have to save us. That's grace. So the question isn't, who are we to say Jesus is the only way? The question is, how come you will not take the only way? The way of salvation, the way of grace. By, by no means was God under obligation to save us. Romans 5.20 Moreover, Moreover, the law entered that the offense might abound, but where sin abounded, grace did much more abound. Romans 6.14 For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you are not under the law, but under grace. What then shall we say? Because we are not under the law, but under grace, God forbid. I, Galatians 2.21 I do not frustrate the grace of God, for as the righteous come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. I don't frustrate this grace. I live under it, but the law, but the law stands. Jesus is very strong on the law, because one thing, he's the author of it. For Romans 5.18, for verily I say unto you, Jesus said, till heaven and earth pass away, not one jot or one tittle, or really I guess one that's the King James Version, one dotting of the eye or stroking of a T. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass away. One jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all has been fulfilled. So we've got a contradiction in our lives. So we, that law has got to be fulfilled, but we're sinners. We're sinners. John 1.17 says, For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. And Ephesians 2, 8 through 10 says, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Not a works, lest any man should boast. We have a problem with that with the rich young ruler. I have a problem with that with that in my own life. Any accomplishments we'd want to boast about. We'd want to boast. But yet, we talked about how the gospel is counter to society. That those that obey the law become enemies of the world. The world won't understand it. Because not of works, lest any man should boast. For we are His workmanship, created in Christ Jesus into good works, which God had made before ordained that we should walk in them. 1 Corinthians 15, 55-57 O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. It's grace. It's grace. And it's grace. And after that, it's grace. When we look at the rich ruler, that is one of the few verses of personal evangelism that you're seeing a glimpse of somebody being evangelized. And it's by Jesus Christ. It starts off the, the rich young man comes to Christ, as we said. What must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus Christ gives him the Ten Commandments, the law. It's all hard, but he gave him actually the easier ones, you know, the physical ones. But yet we've seen in Scripture just by our minds we violated those, not the ones dealing with the Holy God like putting God first. And then the man didn't know it. He was one of the best of humanity. He, he lied to Jesus. And he said, all these, these laws, I have kept from my youth. Then Jesus challenged him, give all you have. If that's true, show it. Show it. Give all you have away to the poor. But he turned away and came very sad because he was very wealthy. He wouldn't give it up. I heard somebody say, that's a little different from today's evangelism. Say, preacher, you let that one go. That had been a good tithe right there. I mean, that was the man of the town, the area. What do you mean we could have put him on the board? You know, we could have had him a good place at church on the board, but the only problem was this man wasn't saved. 